I'm going to show you how to use Beep to create a max for live instrument, and it's going to be super simple. You just won't believe how simple it's going to be. Um, this is what you do. Uh, you have a MIDI track, and under categories you have max for live selected, and I'm going to drag in uh, a max instrument, and then click the edit button, and now I'll just get rid of all that, and let's just grab a few modules. So I have um, a cloud oscillator from, from Beep, and then maybe a low-pass filter, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, filter, ladder, and then I want to modulate that filter with an LFO. So I'll grab an LFO from Beep, and just connect this stuff up. So the LFO is going to modulate the CV input, and then the cloud oscillator is going to go there. And then I just need to connect the output to max for live Now, Beep um, is designed to work with hardware uh, analog modulars, and so it operates on a negative 5 to plus 5 voltage range, whereas everything inside max for live operates on a one, negative 1 to 1 voltage range. So we need to convert that by scaling everything down by a fifth. So I'm going to hit N for new object, and multiply the output. So use multiply tilde, space, and then 0.2 to make, it a, make the signal a fifth of the magnitude it was previously, and then just connect that to a plug uh, out module. And there instantly we hear our creation. And if I bring up CV1, which is what this alpha is connected to, we can hear the, the modulation. All right, super. Um, now it'd be really cool if we could actually change the pitch of this cloud oscillator. So. Yeah, we can change the offset, and we could automate that in live, but let's say we wanted to do it with a, um, uh, a MIDI controller. And beep modules look for, they operate like exactly like uh, Eurorack modular signals. So it's expecting a 1 volt per octave input. So we need something that will convert a MIDI input to a 1 volt per octave input. So we say paste from beep, and then go to the MIDI menu, and there's a module here just for that. It converts notes to signals. And once I've done that, um, the only thing I need to do now is just get MIDI from Max for Live into that converter process. So we say N for new object, and I'll get my MIDI in, and connect that to this conversion. And that's it. Uh, I could you know, go through the process of adding this, the presentation and all that, but I'm just going to drag these guys in here like that and then save it, save, and more. I'm not sure what I named that. Okay, so here we are in uh, Max for Live, and all our parameters still work. We change anything we like. And then we also have MIDI support. So you can't see this, but I'm changing MIDI notes with a MIDI controller. And this is now a Max for Live MIDI device, and that's all there was to it. I uh, hope that was helpful.